Bonjour, Michel. Comment ça va? Assez bien, merci, Mademoiselle Blanc. Et vous? Comme ci, comme ça. Vous êtes euh, seul aujourd'hui? Euh, oui, je crois que les autres sont absents. Eh bien, la conversation française entre nous deux. Qu'est-ce que vous avez fait cette semaine? Presque rien, comme d'habitude. Les leçons, les devoirs, rien de plus. Mais pensez! Nous devons parler. Qu'est-ce que vous pensez des leçons anglais comme vous? Euh, euh, je crois que je ne suis pas certaine. <rire> Répétez-vous, s'il vous plaît. Oh, Peter! Every week we go for the charade of French conversation. So you tell me you have done nothing, you are just a schoolboy, so we talk of autumn, pieces of theatre, la vie française. Let us be frank. You are not Michael Peters and I am not Francoise Le Blanc. We both know why we are here and time is getting shorter. You can trust me. James Bund, double O seven of Her Majesty's Secret Service. Incredible! What makes you think I am not Michael Peters? <laughs> One or uh, two little things I have noticed. Uh, first, there is your physique. <laughs> so bad. Then, under that uh, ridiculous English schoolboy blazer, you wear a and made the island cotton shirt with your black silk knitted tie, and then uh, you do not take some dinners. Many of the boys bring a packed lunch. And a ton tornado that I saw as Bernays with cold out his show and a bottle of satin je blanc de boot 43. So I like good food and drink. <laughs> you overtook the 183 bus this morning in a 1934 and a half liter supercharged. But Liam, I thought the other plates would fool you. You are wearing your Arnold Riley cap. And... What are you going to do? Keep me in after school? <laughs> Don't think it hasn't crossed my mind, James. I am no French contact. All in good time. Something about the jutting swell of her pointed hillage, her square toed shoulders, and the thick weight of hair at the nape of her neck. Told me she was no ordinary French assistant. How did you get into the service? My father, he was a great chef, pressed into service by the Nazi during the occupation. But then he passed on information to the resistance. When the Gestapo shot him, my mother, my brothers and sisters, I alone escaped and vowed always to fight for freedom. Good girl. Do your father serve Ronnie de Vue with pom sauté, followed by Frey de Bois? Of course! Oh, James! It has been an agony! Wait until I could reveal myself. I want you, James. I want you to do everything to me. Everything you have ever done to a woman. Now, please. Certainly, Chopra. What have you been able to find out? Someone in the school is attempting to brainwash the sixth form. Right. The boys have been implanted with something that makes them completely servile. It's pathetic. Instead of living the life of red-blooded young males, they stay in at night doing homework. They do virtually without money and sex, display amazing anxiety over exams, and are prepared to bully younger boys in their class in an obsequious desire to please masters. But who is behind it all? Well, as the archfiends of all time is still ruthless and <coughs> physically revolting. So important is he in the underworld. They call him the head. The head? Yes. His earlobes are too big and his fat lips always wet. But what is his aim? He wants to go the world through these automatons, but he all swell over there with a terrible promise. Success. Success? That is just another exam away. Oh la la! Careful, James. The skeleton butt of your brain fight to Barletta is interfering with the mysterious promise of my hoarded sires. We must liquidate. You do, James. I don't watch. When this is all over, we can get married. You do love me just a little, don't you, James? Thanks for telling me what you know. Miss Plensky! James! You bitch! 
You're a double agent. Oh. You're smart. Yes, I'm so guilty, but how did you know? Ronan de Vaux is served with pomme souffle, not <laughs> saute. <laughs> You would have used me to get rid of the head, then killed me and used his secrets to control innocent schoolboys in Georgia for your own vile communistic ends. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Bond. Everybody put his of deduction. Such a pity it should come to nothing. The head. I have heard everything, my dear boy. How clever of my old school chum M to infiltrate 007 as a schoolboy. Ah, if it had not been for Ophelia Pensky here, yeah. your cover would have remained intact. Therefore, I think it fitting that she should die first. Or chicken. <clears throat> You shrine! Oh. And come, Mr. Bond, she is our mutual enemy. But she is a beautiful woman. How touching and faint that you should fall victim to the weakness of the flesh known as lust. You should now never trust a beautiful woman, Mr. Bond. Now, us boys can be together. You're mad, the head. 